Hi friends, my name is Regan Zetterfeld and I'm a priest at Christ Episcopal Church in Little Rock, Arkansas. The author of a, a couple of books, including most recently Wendell Berry and The Given Life. I'm going to be joining you at St. Columba's for a workshop running from Sunday morning on April 18th through the next couple of Sundays up to May 2nd. I'm going to be exploring the wisdom of humility. So why humility? Well, there's this story in the Hebrew scriptures in Genesis chapter 2 about how human beings came to be. And in that story, it says that the Adam was formed from the Adama. Now, Hebrew culture, just like most agrarian cultures, had some very specific language for the dirt, the soil. And the Adama is the kind of soil that, that gives life. It's what contemporary soil scientists might call it humus soil. It's the kind of soil that contains mycorrhizal fungi and microbes and protozoa and, and nematodes, all of this, this balance and wonderful plethora of life that then gives life to plants and all of the, the creatures that depend on plants. And there's another word in Hebrew, and that's the apar, and that's, that's just dead, inert dearth. It's just the, the, the material of the earth. And so there's this contrast between the adama and the apar. And when we are living fully into our creatureliness, fully into relationship with all of the other aspects of the creation, we are living into the fullness of what it means to be a, a creature formed from the adama. We are living fully into being the Adam. But it's when we move away from that interdependence and stand alone that we lose the life that is, is part of that whole network and ecosystem, and we become instead the Apar. We have that, that same kind of relationship in English, where it's the, the human being that's drawn from the humus. But Unfortunately, so often in our contemporary lives, we have separated ourselves from the rest of creation and, and don't even see ourselves as a part of it. We have lost what Rowan Williams calls the art of being a creature. So how do we get that art back? How do we learn again to be truly creatures, human beings formed from the humus? Well, I, I think that the virtue of humility this way of literally going down close to the earth has a lot to teach us. And so over the, this course, we're gonna be looking at some of the great teachers of the past from St. Benedict to Bernard of Clairvaux to more contemporary voices like Simone Weil and, and trying to understand how it is that the, the humus can help us renew our humanity and recover the art of being a creature. So I, I hope that you will join me for this series of workshops as we learn how to embrace creation and, and care for it, but also to more deeply be a part of it, because that's where we find our fullness as human beings in this world. Thank you.